I am gonna be doing the Jawbreaker collection! Oh my god, uh, you guys have no idea how excited I have been to, like, unbox this, get my hands on this palette. This is honestly by far the most prettiest most beautiful palette that Jeffrey has ever released in my opinion. I think it looks incredible. I got to see tomorrow. Oh my god, I just, it's just so cool. Like, I feel so official now. I feel so like I'm part of the team now, you know what I mean? This is my PR stuff. We're gonna go through everything. Ooh. So yeah, we're gonna be going through the lipsticks, the highlighters, the Supreme Frost, I mean, um, lip scrubs, the highlighter palette, and also the palette. I'm just gonna do a quick look for you guys. I'm gonna try out the palette, and we're gonna see how it goes. You know what I mean? So let's basically get started! <laughs> I literally just did my face. I literally, look at my eyes. Oh my god, I look like, it looks like two piss holes in the snow. This is so exciting. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the lip scrub because I usually always do that. So, oh my god, these flavors I was so excited for. Especially the cucumber and mint one. I thought that sounds so delish that sounds so refreshing and so divine but also pineapple juice i love pineapple juice and lemon sucker i love lemon things so it just all bloody works out doesn't it i'm just gonna try cucumber mint first because this is just amazing as you all know on my channel um i actually don't put them on my lips i actually eat them oh Oh my god, that is so yum. Oh my god, I could eat the whole pot of that. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna hide this because otherwise I'm gonna eat the entire thing. Okay, so this is now pineapple juice. Holy shit. It smells like a um, car air freshener. A bit, that's not a bad thing. I love air fresheners, so just like don't, don't find that bad. <laughs> Oh, that's bloody sour. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, it's a bit sour. It kind of takes your breath away, to be honest. I don't think you're actually meant to, like, eat that. All right, the next one is lemon sucker. Oh, my God. If pineapple juice was sour, this is going to be so sour. Kind of smells like cleaning products. Oh, that's yum. Oh. It's like I've just cleaned the bathroom. Oh, that's so yum! My favorite is definitely the cucumber and mint one. That one is just so refreshing and so delicious. I just... So now we are moving on to the eyeshadow palettes. Look at this. So in person, these palettes in person are so different. They are just compared to... Oh my God, look at this. In person, this is so much more vibrant. I don't know why, but it just is. The purple punch, this middle one. Oh my God, it is so stunning. And also the, this one, Oral, is so different in person. It's so incredible. So these two shades here are already in the big Jawbreaker palette. I can see why people are like, uh, what am I gonna do with this? But like, this is such a cool addition to this. So if I were you, I would just buy both of them because I just want the whole collection, you know what I mean? But these colours are incredible. The purple one, I cannot put down. It's just, I keep on swatching it over and over and over and over and it's just a dream. It's an absolute dream. Oh my god, this one. Just look at that. Look at this! It is just the most beautiful rainbow palette that I've ever seen. Like, it is just... I can't stop looking at it. The colors are incredible. I love the pastels. I love the glittery ones. It's just so beautiful. It doesn't really show up on camera, but this is such a true red. Like this is red. This is the color red. But I love Gumdrop, this purple right here. Oh my god, it is so stunning. So, I'm gonna try and do like a little look today with you guys. So, I'm just gonna test this palette out because I've only swatched it, I have not put it on my eyes. I'm really inspired by a tutorial that Rocio, oh my god, I know I'm butchering her name, Rocio, Ro I thought her name was Rikosha. Um, I'm really stupid. It's Rocio, uh, you guys will know who she is. She is literally life. She is just amazing. The most stunning, incredible, inc 
most amazing artist ever and um, she's really inspired me so I'm gonna try and do that and um, yeah I'm just so bloody excited so let's zoom in and just get right on into where I really want to do like a little bit of a rainbow look also for pride as well Okay, I feel like a total idiot now, but you know, like, why not? So I'm going to take this little brush here, and I'm going to dip in. Oh my god, where do I even start? I think I'm going to um, dip into Suck, which is like a tangerine orange. It's not like a super duper orange, but it's like, you'll see what I mean. It's kind of like a coral. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my holy shit. That is absolutely insane that pigment oh <gasps> wow are you guys seeing this that's absolutely insane oh my god it just completely diffuses out so beautifully i think it's the same formulation as like you know blue blood and um, blood sugar and one palette. I'm gonna talk some shit here. One palette that did not work for me that well is the Thirsty palette. Comment down below if you get what I mean. Um, the yellow didn't really work for me. I felt like they were a different formula. I don't know how to explain it. It was just not a palette that worked well for me. Like the colors just didn't pop as great. But oh my god, this is just a completely different story. I'm just gonna go in here as well. Okay, so now I'm dipping in with the yellow. Oh my god, this is what I'm talking about. This is a yellow! Oh my god, this is so much more pigmented than the thirsty one. That just didn't, it just couldn't show up for me. I don't know why. Oh my god, look at that! Um, I'm now going in with this color here. The sour one. I'm literally tapping it. Just like a hint of green. I'm now gonna put in Gumdrop, which is this amazing purple. I cannot hide from it. Um, I'm taking Gumdrop and I'm gonna put that in the middle. Usually pastels are so shit and they don't really show up, but oh my god, this is amazing. And now I'm taking a mix between Brain Freeze and Cute. Beautiful mint, green, blue, and then I'm going in with this one here. A little bit of each. Definitely gonna go back in with green. I'm just so bad at placement on my eye. I always like underestimate how much room I've got and then how much I don't have. So I'm just going back in with all the colors and I'm just like reapplying everything. All right, so now I am finished with this eye and I'm just gonna quickly do this eye off camera. So give me a hot second and I'll be right back. Woo! Oh my God, she's the rainbow. Obviously did a really shit job, but like this is pretty cool. Okay, so now I am going to cut my crease. This look wouldn't be this look if we did not use Jawbreaker shade and the Jawbreaker palette. So I thought we would put that on. It is like a beautiful duochrome. Oh my god, look at that. It's so stunning. I'm now going to take Jawbreaker again and put it in the inner corner. Okay, I'm now just going to do it under my eyes. Oh my god, they're so uneven, but like, we'll work it out. So now I'm going to put on some mascara and lashes, and we'll be right back and going into the highlights. So, see you soon. Ah! Can we focus, please? Thanks. So, I look like a horse right now. Um, I just couldn't apply these lashes very well today. Um, it was it's just one of those days, you know? What I'm gonna do is I'm going to use frozen fruit and use that as my blush. So now I'm going to take this little, um, is this a blush brush? Round face brush, okay, close enough. And I'm taking frozen fruit, look at that. Oh my God, it looks like yogurt. Oh my God, and I'm just going to really lightly because these are so <laughs> that I'm just going to just tap it super lightly. What a day to be alive. She's cute. She is super cute. I like her. I don't think I'm going to put this on my body, but I'll swatch it. Oh my god, it's like got purple reflex to it. 
you can't really see. It's so cool though. Oh my god. It's got like purple in it. It's so beautiful. Obviously it doesn't show up on camera. But yeah, it's like green and purple. This is like an incredible, beautiful shade for like deeper complexions. Um, this is Caramel Kiss and literally that is what it is. Like it's oh my god. It is just so gorgeous. It's way too dark for me. So that if I put it on my cheek, if I move my face, it would be like more this colour, if you get what I mean. But in the light, oh my god, it's just... <coughs> it's so cool. So the one that I'm actually going to be putting on today is this one. It's called Diamond Wet. Rest in peace, Diamond. Oh my god. I actually don't want to talk about it. I'll start crying. I actually started crying over a dog I've never met. I was so upset. Anyways, very fitting. I love this. This is really beautiful. It's like a champagne kind of gold pink. I don't know how to explain it. It's really beautiful though. It's just so glittery and so beautiful. And you get so much product. Oh my god. I use Wet Dream all the time, but I think this could be my next favourite. It's so much more glowy in person, but yeah, it's so sparkly. Oh my god, it's all over my jumper. Can you see that? This looks so good. Here are the colours here. Yeah, I'm going to go in with, it's kind of hard to read the label with this. This is called Fully Nude. I didn't expect it to be this. It kind of looks a bit darker in the bottle, but like in, in person, it's actually a lot lighter. It's a really pretty nude. It's kind of like, like I hate pink, but this is like the kind of pink that I will just get away with, you know what I mean? That I, I would probably most likely wear. Okay, the next one I'm trying is Bronze Blood. Oh my God, this fly is so annoying. Piss off. Oh my God, it's so dopey. Like it's literally half dead. Whoa. That was one swipe. I didn't even need to build this up. <gasps> oh my god. My Nana would have loved this lipstick so much. She's all about this color. Okay, the next color is this one here. This one is Strawberry Crush. There's no scent to um, these lipsticks either. Oh my god. That's so bright and corally and... <laughs> so vibrant oh my god like it is literally it's like a watermelon shade it's so nice it's kind of like a strawberry sorbet do you know what i mean like that that pure color oh my god it's so pigmented and so opaque okay oh my god i'm so excited for this color it is this amazing green color it is called no offense literally that's like what i say all the time he did this This is so cool. It's such a cool, like, grassy green <laughs> Oh my god, it looks so... It's like the same color as Shrek. I love it. Oh my god. It's so Shreky. This took quite a few applications. It's quite streaky and it doesn't come off um, quite opaque, so you just need to build this up quite a bit. This color right here is Yes Ma'am. You don't really say ma'am in New Zealand. That's, that's quite an American um, saying. This is like a really vibrant pink color. This kind of, I'm kind of disappointed. I feel like that I've already got this color in my collection. This really reminds me of Prom Night. Do I have Prom Night on me? Like, right now, that's Diva. Um, kind of reminds me of Diva, Prom Night, sort of. Like, I'm kind of a bit disappointed. I feel like I've got this shade, you know? Or like Masochist. Oh, is this? Yeah, or like Masochist. It kind of, it's like, it's kind of very, very, very similar to that. I'm kind of a bit underwhelmed about this shade, but like it is an amazing color and it's incredible. Um, but if you don't have like Prom Night or Masochist um, or Diva, I think this is a really cool shade and it's like a super Barbie pink. The last color, I saved the best for last, it is this purple color. <gasps> and this is called Purple Urkel. Um, it's so difficult to read the bottom of these. I'm just letting you guys know. It's so, so hard. This is so cool! Oh my god, this is so moosey as well. Oh my god. Oh my god, the formulation of this, I cannot get enough of it. It is so nice. Oh my god.
This is such a cool colour. I absolutely love this. It's like a muted purple. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a lilac sort of, and it doesn't make my teeth look yellow. Oh my god, I love this. Okay, guys, so I am finished with this incredible collection. I honestly personally think this is the best summer collection that he has ever released. I am not joking. I am literally so blown away by the palette. The palette is just my dream palette. It is, it's got all these beautiful colors that I cannot wait to play with even more and like further videos. I so recommend you get both palettes because I do not want you guys missing out. This is such an amazing, such a cool addition to the other, um, oh my god, how many, how many shades are there? There's like a million gazillion shades. So I totally recommend getting these two. Like, not one or the other. If you had to just choose one, I'd recommend this one, because you know, you get more colours. But these two, I just think it's match made in heaven. I did not get to try out um, these two shades, but I will at some point. But um, I, these, I think these are really, really cool. Um, this is this would look amazing on deeper skin tone and just like putting it all over your body <gasps> after you've had a spray tan or something. Oh my god, stop. Um, but this is literally a new favourite of mine. This is so nice and it goes so well with fair skin. I am so 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 happy about this. The lip scrubs um I found the pineapple juice one to be super duper sour. I have no idea why. Um if I could tell you to pick just one I would so recommend the cucumber and mint one. That one was so refreshing and so lovely on my lips. It just felt everything felt incredible. It was just amazing. This oh. I love the packaging, it's so American. I don't know how to explain it. It looks so, so beautiful. This is just stunning. Like, it's like the perfect palette for any skin tone. Like, it goes from pale to like medium skin tone to like deeper skin tone. Oh my god, like, he's thought of it all in this palette. This is like such a cool, cool, cool palette. One lipstick I was super surprised by was this nude. Um, I thought this would be like too pink on me and I didn't really like what was in the bottle. I was kind of like, mm, I don't know how this is going to look on me. I loved this. I absolutely adored this and I loved the purple. Oh my god, I'm wearing it right now. As you can see, purple Urkel. Purple Urple? Purple Urkel? Oh my god, I don't know. So incredible. And I loved the green one. The green one was such a cool, like, I really love that he put that um, personality kind of back in his products, you know what I mean? Honestly, I think this could be my favorite collection. I'm not just bullshitting. I'm not just saying that. I truly, honestly think this is my favorite. I just cannot get over the eyeshadow palette. I've never been so drawn to an eyeshadow palette. And, oh my god, I love this look. It, everything blended out beautifully. The colors, the payoff is just so pigmented, so incredible, so amazing. And the mirror, oh my god, I just love this. <laughs> so cool. I feel like I'm totally part of the crew now. I hope this video has helped you in any way, shape, or form when it comes to buying this collection. Um, let me know what you are thinking of getting and what you think about the two palettes. I'm just obsessed with both of them. I think they're just absolutely incredible. But until then, I better go now and I'll see you all super duper soon. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope to see you all again very soon. Say hi to your mum for me. Look after yourself. And most importantly, stay groovy. See you all soon. Bye. Wow, that was cool.